Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today we're going to talk about how to recover data from a crashed laptop. This is a Windows laptop with, uh, without using uh, those special uh, external hard drive cables or whatever. We're just going to do it without those cables. And um, <clears throat> we're, we're basically going to take the laptop hard drive out of this guy and plug it into a box top computer over here. Okay. And uh, let's zoom in here a little bit and let's take a look at this laptop. Okay, so here's our laptop. It's a HP laptop. And I've kind of already taken the screws out of here. You know, a little jeweler screwdriver and some screw holes here. And um, <clears throat> here's our hard drive. So let's zoom into that. Now these have a special plug here, but you don't need to pull this plug here. If we take out the hard drive, see there's a connector right here, and you can be careful, pull that guy off. And if you look right there, see this comes with the, that stays with the laptop, that special cable. If you look here, here we got our normal SATA plugs right here on the back of our laptop hard drive. Okay. And so we can, uh, just plug that right into the computer. Well, let's uh, okay. Be careful with this guy. He's uh, very sensitive, and if you jar him too much, you can damage the disc. Be careful. Don't drop it. Here is our desktop computer. Let's just take a look. See, it's uh, really a computer there. Okay. Remember, before you uh, start working on the inside of your computer, unplug it so there's no power going to it. Okay. And uh, the different computers have different ways of opening them. This one's got a little handle thing on the side. It's actually kind of a thinner box than I'm used to. And uh, we can pull that panel off. And here's our power supply here. And it kind of swings open. The hard drive is behind it. Uh, believe this thing can swing out too but what we're gonna do is uh this is our uh I believe this is our optical disc right we look in the front here let's take a look in the front this guy is our optical disc and uh we really just want to i don't have any more cables you could if you have some extra cables you could plug into the motherboard down here there's some open slots, but I don't see any uh, open, uh, what do you call it, power plugs. All the power plugs are used up with this computer. It's got a very small power supply. And so uh, what I'm going to do is, I think the easiest thing to do is I'll just unplug this optical drive. Let's, let's get in here and take a look. Okay, there's a, here's our SATA plugs on the back. And uh, there's a power plug right there. You see that? Power plug. And there is the data plug here. If I can get that off. Because the uh, optical disc. Okay, there we go. There's our data plug. See that? And so. <clears throat> We can just plug those two into our hard drive here. Here we've got our hard drive. Let's zoom back out. So here's where our plugs are on there. There's a power plug and a data plug. And let's see. So we can plug the power into there and the data into there. Let's take a look at that. So we took those plugs off from our optical disk and we plugged them into the back of our hard disk that we want to recover data from. And we can just run this computer open. So I'm going to set it back on the floor and plug it in and see if we can access that hard drive. 
Okay, so we set our computer back on the floor because that's where I had it before. And oh, by the way, be sure to unplug it before you work on it. It's always helpful. I want to plug it back in. Okay. Okay, so the side is really not going to close with our hard drive hanging out here, but I think it's okay. We'll just uh, hit the power on button. There we go. And we will let her boot up. It may be a little bit unhappy about the changes we made, but I think I think it should probably work. Oh, look at that. It's booting up. Okay, we're all booted up. So let's go down to, um, this is Windows 10. It's hard to get away from it now, I guess. There's a file explorer at the bottom. Everything's completely different than Windows 7. So let's see if we can uh, see our hard drive here. Okay, so if we look under here, this is uh, Windows Explorer here. It's on the right hand side. I don't seem to be able to zoom out enough now. So there's Windows Explorer. If we look down on the right hand side over here, we have Drive C. Uh, system recovery, which is drive D, and uh, local E. This is the new drive that we put in. If we click on that, let's zoom back out. Okay, so there's our file explorer, and here's all of our files on our hard drive that we're trying to recover. So it put under drive D. So instead of having our optical drive, uh, it booted up with uh, with our uh, recovery drive, our hard disk from our laptop computer. So it's booting up off of that, or not booting off of it, but it's uh, allowing us access to that. Okay. So it's just kind of hanging off the computer for right now, temporarily, while we get our files off. So now we can go in and we can copy these files. If we want, we can open up another Explorer and drag these, these uh, windows off of this one and onto our C drive. Right, here's our C drive. And so we can copy any files that we need to from one to the other just by dragging them over. And uh, looks like we're all set to uh, restore our computer, or you know, at least save our files. Anyway. Okay, so looks like we're able to uh, just, you can also just drag the folders like this. And just drag them onto the desktop if you want to save them on the desktop and save them there for later or whatever. And the thing will copy it. And... Uh, so then you can back up anything you want, and when you're done, don't forget to uh, turn off the computer, and you can remove your hard disk and store it someplace, and hook your cables back up to your other optical drive if you want to use that again, and uh, you should be all set. This is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.